Danny Hilton running at the Mansfield defence. He stands up the defender. Hilton! What a strike from Danny Hilton! Hello everybody, welcome back to the Football Network. Oxford United save with me, George. And what a goal that was from Danny Hilton. What a bloody strike that was. Straight into the upper Benjamins from Hilts. He is our top goal scorer this season so far. And that is an absolute fantastic strike, as you saw there. And that came against... Mansfield, I believe. But we're back and we're going to play Portsmouth today. Uh, we have a few little things to update you on. I'm going to show you around the squad a little bit more um, so you get to know the players a little bit more personally. So, let's go on to the results from last time. And we last met against Crawley. Now, that was a late, late goal from Hilton, 90 plus 2, to get us uh, a point in that match. And he inspired us to go on a good run. Uh, not in the League Cup, of course, because we lost 2-0 to MK Dons at Stadium MK, but we won't look at that, that's a shame, that is a shame. But then we went on and we beat Luton 3-0 away, which is really, really good considering the quality of players they've got at that club. We went on comfortably, 3-0 win, then we went Notts County at home, 2-0, new boy Raphael Calve getting a goal, he has been fantastic, he won player of the month actually, so brilliant signing there. Uh, then we went and drew 1-1 against Mansfield where Danny Hilton scored that absolute screamer. Fantastic. Very disappointing not to win that game because they were down to 10 men in the last few minutes. Hilton, again, grabbing the penalty against the Oval at home. 1-0. 2-0 away at Bristol Rovers. Ryan Taylor, you see there, getting good. Now, I did say I listed Ryan Taylor. I, he's still listed. Um, and then I came to realise he's earning two grand a week, so that's why I did list him. And then I looked at his contract... 2017. So we got a couple years of Ryan Taylor. So I just thought, well, I'm not going to let him sit on the sidelines and happily collect £2,000 a week. He's going to have to work. He's going to have to graft a little bit. And he is grafting. And to be fair, he's scoring. So, you know, a bit awkward really on my part. But uh, then we went on and beat Northampton 1 0. John Lundstrom getting the goal. Decent away performance. So that leaves us top of the league in Skybet League 2. We are a couple points ahead of Portsmouth. Um, and three points ahead of Portsmouth and we've got uh, the best goal difference in the league so um, we should do okay in this game I'm, I'm, I'm hoping because we're at home and uh, we've been decent so we're unbeaten in the league um, and now onto the transfers now that the window's finished it's the 19th of September and the history of the transfers you can also see that the badges are installed as well so you can put your pitchforks down now uh, but Jordan Jones is the, is the player to come in. Uh, Jordan Jones, really versatile, great technician in the words of uh, Brendan Rodgers, wonderful guy, great technician, as I said, wonderful character. So he's in the squad, decent rating actually, decent ability. He's on loan as well. Every player that we brought in is on loan, which is a bit of a shame. But when you've got a, a budget of £402 a week, it's gone up. It's bloody gone up. We'll ignore that. But... Um, yeah, you can see he can play in a whole host of positions on the left, on the right, midfield, maybe on the left, uh, and also on the right. So he's got some very good attributes, and um, he's been decent. He's been relatively solid when he's been playing. Um, as you can see, all the other players that we've got there, Raphael Calve, what a player. He is doing fantastic. Um, really happy with that. And Seth Humphreys. Now, Seth is a guy that, um, well, well, Sam, who is also on the TFN, uh, knows this guy. He's played football with this guy before. And Seth Humphreys, we were, we were just talking while I was playing. I was talking with Sam and we were just talking about him. And um, we said, oh, it'd be good if you get some first-team experience somewhere. He's gone out on loan to Frickley, which is fantastic. Frickley are a... Um, who are Frickley? They're a Northern Premier League division site. So he's getting a bit of time out there, uh, which is good. Also, with young players, I'm hoping that... I mean, I've got all of these guys listed for, for, for going out on loan. Um, not too many... Big talents in the under-18 squad. Um, I mean, Baptiste maybe could develop to be decent. Shandon Baptiste. Uh, Under-21s as well. Yo, you can see Johnny Mullins in there. Yeah, I'll go on about that in a second. And one second, uh, we've got Josh Ruffles as well. Players that These sort of players I want to give chances. Freddie Grant as well in the first two. I want to give these guys a, a, a couple chances. You can also see that they got, these guys here are, are in the first team, but they are getting... Uh, game time in the other 21s, which is important. But Johnny Mullins, um, he came to me saying, oh, I want a bit of game time, boss. I want to be playing more. I want this, I want that. And I said, well, look, we've, we've got Raphael Calvain in the team now. Um, he wasn't having any of it. So 
Um, I've just stuck him in the reserves for a bit. He's unhappy. Um, listen, he's 29 years old. His contract expires at the end of the season. I'm probably not going to renew it. He's not going to get any better as he's getting older. Um, he's not getting any younger. So I think Johnny Mullins is going to have to go. But, um, you know, we may get the odd game here and there. But Chan Dunkley will be my second second choice defender behind uh, Calvay and Jake Wright. So um, let's go on into the game today against Portsmouth at home at the Kassam. We're doing all right. We're, I have been using 4-4-2 a little bit as well at times. Now, this is just because, um, well, as I was saying about Ryan Taylor, he's not too bad, actually. So <laughs> brought him on, play 4-4-2 at times, especially if we need a goal. So the team I am going to go with, I'm just going to have a little check. I've, I'm feeling pretty good with that. Uh, I've rested in Garcia a bit. He's, I don't know what's up with his condition. It stayed 83% for a while. Uh, we're working on his stamina. Um, natural fitness is pretty high, but he's, he's seemingly losing a lot of condition uh, in, the, in the league so far. But I'm going to give him a rest. He's a young kid. He's a young kid, remember, guys. So um, we've got to nurture this lad. We've got to nurture this lad. And, you know, rushing him in isn't, isn't the best thing to do. So, actually, I'm, I actually might have to put Johnny Mullins on the bench just because of Dunkley's condition. But um, the team I'm going with, we have got Sam Slocum in goal, George Bulldog right back, Raphael Calve and Jake Wright in the rock. That is that defence. Uh, Joe Scars on left back, as usual. Kemar Roof out on the right. John Lundstram, Stephen Hewitt, the new signing in the midfield. Callum O'Dowder out on the left. Jordan Jones playing behind Danny Hilton today. Uh, the bench is Benji Bushell, youngster Sam Long, Johnny Mullins, Liam Sirkin, Alex McDonald, Josh Ruffles, and Ryan Taylor. Now we're going for the control fluid, and as usual, and hopefully this has been working well. So hopefully this this will uh, get us uh, three points here today at the Kassam Stadium, which will be fantastic, of course. Better take that out actually, because the sound, game sound, we don't want that. Uh, so let's apply the advice and let's encourage them. Let's say, let's give the fans something to cheer about today because this is a, a relatively local game. I mean, Portsmouth, Oxford, not too far away. Portsmouth are a big club as well. We've always always got to remember that, um, which is which is of course very very important because they are a local club and we want to beat our rivals around us. And of course, this will be very good for the title. So. Portsmouth are getting the game underway. They have got some wonderful technicians in that side, as I said earlier. That was Brendan Rodgers, apparently. I don't know. Might have been Brendan Rodgers. I'll shut up now. But uh, oh, I've changed a little thing around as well. I I didn't really need to look at the condition because it was all there. So that's changed. That's new. But um, Oxford, we've been dominating possession. We always dominate possession. We are very much we're very good in on possession of the ball. I mean, we we very rarely give it away. We've got. You know, we're very dominant in that midfield. Lundstram and Hewitt pulling the strings like a tampon feed. That is disgusting. Why would I say that? Oh, oh and Clark. Oh, no. Get this away, boys. Doyle. Um, well, that was that was ridiculously close. Um, Portsmouth just before half-time there. Having a very, very big chance. Come on, boys. And lucky, boys. Things just haven't gone right for us this half. I don't know why I said that, actually, because... It's nil nil. That was pretty dumb. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. We're going to control, and then if not, might just swap it up. Four four two, lump it long, get a goal. Ryan Taylor, of course, used to play for Portsmouth, so big game for him if he does come on. So I'll try and fire him up for that actually, which would be which would be good. I am. Mm, ooh, yes. Let Let's go attacking. Come on, let's go at him. Let's go at the jugular. Let's go for the jugular, mix the passing up. I do like to play short passing, um, especially away, but I forgot to change that, so we'll mix it up at home. And I might... Oh, Danny, oh, Danny Hill isn't having such a good game, but... Um, what should we do? What shall we do? Lundstram is, is getting a little bit tired in there, so let's bring... Oh, let's bring Josh Ruffles on. He said he wanted game time. Well, no... He didn't say he wanted game time. My coach said he wanted a bit of game time. Help him develop a bit. So let's do it. Let's give him his chance. Jake Wright, keeping him on. I'm going to keep him on. Um, I'm going to try and say I have faith. I, I've got faith in this guy. Because I do. He's a youngster. Um, and also, if we can nick a 1-0 here, I'll be delighted. 
I will be bloody delighted. I mean, it's not. It doesn't look like it's going to affect the table too much here, but I am going to go 4-4-2 now. That's it. I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. 4-4-2. Um, yes. Yes, that's good. Uh, Ruffles in there. Come on, son. Come on, boy. Um, let's have a look at these instructions. Can we do anything here to get us going a little bit more? Um, work the ball into the box. I don't know why that wasn't ticked. I usually tick that bloody, that bloody thing. Come on. I'm going to fire him up. Aggressive. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. It's like bloody... Um, what's it called? Oh, my God. I forgot the name. I forgot the bloody name. Show me what you got. What, what is that from? Uh, we were talking about it yesterday. I don't know. Okay, Calvay's on the ball. That's all, we, all that we do know. Roof. Ryan Taylor. Come on, then. The 4-4-2. Let's go, boys. The old school formation... What a ball from Hewitt out to O'Dowd. A great little touch pass to defender. Whip it in, son. Keep my roof at the back. It's been cleared away, and now Matt Tubbs is on the ball. Let's get this off him, for goodness sake. Oh, and they're opening us apart. Get back, boys. Men behind the ball. Oh, my goodness. They've whipped it in. Back stick. Oh, my word. It's hit the bar. Oh, my word. It's hit the bloody crossbar. <sighs> okay. Don't worry about it. All right? Don't worry about it. Pass into space. All right. We're going to pump it. We're going more direct. We're going to pump the ball. Route 1 stuff here. Well, not quite Route 1, but near enough. Come on. Can we get three points? Can we get three points? If not, this will be a terribly boring episode, which will not be good. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't think it's going to be happening today. It's going to be a nil-nil. Nil-nil written all over it. That is it. Ended at the Kassam. Oxford United nil. Portsmouth nil. Um, there were some positives. Whatever those positives are, I don't know. Maybe that the fact that we didn't lose the game. That's a positive in itself. But as you can see there, we're still top of the league. Everyone's played eight matches. Three points clear of Plymouth. You know, things are looking good for Old Oxford United. We do need some more goals, though. That is something I am concerned at slightly. We can defend brilliantly, but not enough goals in the side at the moment. And 4-4-2 hmm. isn't too bad. But uh, I think, where, where will we come back for? I mean, there isn't particularly any, any particular big games. I mean, Wimbledon at home, maybe. Um, shall we come back for the FA Cup first round? I reckon the FA Cup first round will be a nice game to come back on. You know, FA Cup, big competition. Let's try and go far. Last year with Oxford United on my on my save on FM15, got them to the semi-final in the first season. Unbelievable scenes. Somehow we got there. Very odd. But um, we'll try and do that again, shall we? Our journey will begin then. And we will be playing our next match on camera. Will be the FA Cup first round. So if you enjoyed the episode today, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this save so far, so, so I would love people to stay along and uh, get involved with the save. And, um, I don't know, who's the baller of the episode? We haven't really got a baller of the episode, because uh, it was nil-nil, wasn't it? So, um, why don't we give it to uh, Danny Hilton for that goal, to be fair. Decent stuff. So Danny Hilton's baller of the episode. Congratulations, Danny, on your reward. Well done.